Deluxe Access to College Football 2025 opened today at 3 p.m. Central Time. I saw a number right before we started recording. There was over 700,000 players online tonight looking for games, playing online, playing with each other, getting a first look at this game. First time in 10 years, everybody gets to retire NCAA 14. All right, it can rest now. I saw a lot of in-game memes going with with the uh, NCAA 14 over Tony Stark's face, like as he dies, like you can rest now. Uh, I saw those memes all over. Kind of sad to let go of that game, but obviously exciting for a lot of people bringing in a 2025 here. Um, I have not played it yet. I refuse to pay the extra 30 bucks or whatever to get the game three days sooner. I will wait till Friday, respectively. Uh, what about you? Did you did you happen to download it tonight? I I am a fan of saving the money at this stage of life too, and I can I can wait. I've waited 11 years. What's three more days for 30 bucks extra in our wallets? Yeah, exactly. I 100% agree with you. But early returns are that it's great. It's visually stunning. They got a lot of stuff right. Apparently the defense, the AI, def- not the AI, whatever, the system's defense, if you're just playing against the computer, is absolutely kicking people's butts. Like, it is way harder. It's totally different. It feels different. It's harder to run the ball. It's harder to throw the ball. Apparently the defense has just turned up to 11. And then I don't know if you've seen it on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, um, the kicking game is extremely hard to kick the ball straight. Like the little meter thing moves super fast. So everybody's complaining about that. Those are the early returns. I'm excited to get in on it. Um, I'm hearing too many people are starting a dynasty, though, with a power five school. And that's just absolutely not allowed. How can you say that you want to build a dynasty with someone already in the power five? That's just playing on easy mode. If you are not at least an American conference school, what are you doing? Like, if you're starting a dynasty with Auburn or or Ole Miss or even Oklahoma State, like, that's easy. You're you're already going to pull in, like, four-star recruits year one. So, I, I don't know. Clayton, your thoughts. Who are you excited to start a dynasty with in NCAA 25 whenever you get it? You know, back in NCAA 14, the Idaho Vandals were my team, but they are one of the only teams not in this game. So I'm a little bit sad. That I'm kind of looking sure. for a new squad here. But um, I'll probably go Akron Zips. They're a fun one. I know Kent State was very awful last season. So if you're looking at the bottom of the barrel there for talent, Kent State might be a great choice. But yeah. overall, I think uh, UL Monroe is at the home of the quarterback General Booty now. So you're looking at UL sure. Monroe or one of, the, one of the Louisiana schools down there. So you're probably one of those three is what I'm going with. But, yeah, and back to the kicking meter thing. Like, oh, the past few games, kicking has been far too easy. So I don't know why people are complaining because I actually like to see the challenge when a field goal isn't automatic because a field goal is not automatic. We've seen 18 yard or 20-yard field goals missed these past few days past few years in college football so why are people complaining if the kicking meter is challenging because it is hard yeah i 100 percent agree college football has a random randomness to it which makes it great all right so having the kicking game be as hard as possible is absolutely outstanding it really does turn it up a notch college football wise nothing's a gimme Nothing to give me. You never know if you're actually going to win these late games. You can't trust the kicker. I think all football coaches need to just stop going for field goals, like to end games. Like, you got to go try to score a touchdown and then settle for a field goal. I don't like it when coaches in general just like, oh, we're down, we're down one, we're going to play for a field goal. I don't know. It's just bad coaching. It's burned the guys just as many times as it's helped them. You know, or if you're Iowa in the game, they should program some third down field goals just randomly throughout the game just because that is the most efficient offensive player on their team. So yes. things may have changed this year finally, but I really doubt it with Kirk Ferentz at the helm still. Hey, things may have changed. We are talking football, real football, very soon here. I, I, I have some takes on Iowa. I think Iowa is going to be actually really good this year. If you look at their schedule, they avoid like three of the four big boys. We could easily look at Iowa as an 11 and one going to the Big Ten title game again. And then their schedule just lines up for three it. against whoever they're playing. Ohio State probably in this, in my opinion. Right, right. Iowa, Iowa State, always a good time. <laughs> 
It's yeah, always we'll a good time. We'll see. It's always the uh, the college game day, and then they show up, and it's the worst game that anyone's ever seen on football and on TV. So we got a couple. Uh, the last two of those have been pretty awful. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But hey, I was glad to hear that you did not. You also did not say a Power Five school on who you started Dynasty with. So it sounds like we are aligned there. You cannot do it with any of the Power Four. I gotta get. I gotta get Power Five out of my head. We gotta stop saying Power Five. Power Four. None of the Power Four is allowed. I've heard a lot of people wanting to do Vanderbilt. I'll allow it because they're bad and in the SEC, and that would be hard enough. But that's like the one exception. You know, as, as we were talking about this, it just came to my mind that I have an absolute love for the triple option, though. As a, uh, We ran it in high school, and I, I love mm. it. So I'll probably be going Air Force for my first one because I love the uniforms. I love the atmosphere. And I love the offense, so that's probably actually my my first one. If I'm going for a rebuild, I can go Akron, um, Akron or UL Monroe. But yeah, I'll go Air Force my first one. I think that's where I'm going to start. Yeah, that's fair. I wonder if in this one in 25, if you take a military school, if that actually affects recruiting because it didn't at all in 14. Like I I had a it doesn't yeah they said it doesn't oh okay I had a huge dynasty with the RB Black Knights. On the 14 game, four straight national titles, no problem. Just had them rolling. Yeah, that that would never happen. So okay, so they didn't make that. Do you have to help your players that you're recruiting write letters to their senators to try to get recommendation letters so they can go through basic training at your? Yeah, I, I feel like we could add that in. That'd be kind of fun. All of that should be part of it. Absolutely, all of it. I played 14 so much that I started making up my own rules to make it harder. Okay, because I was tired of taken over a one-star program and being able to get a top five recruiting class in year one all right so like (laughs) i started doing like i could only recruit the star of players that my program was so if i was a one-star program i could only recruit one-star guys i could only recruit guys in my state of where i was because i'm a one-star program i can't recruit nationally if i'm Wyoming nobody from New York State is going to want to come play in Wyoming like it doesn't make any sense so I mean I would have to cut my best player every year for academic little ineligibility like I would just try to make it harder because there was nothing you could do so I'm really hoping this game steps it up the difficulty level actually makes it tough actually makes it where you can't run the ball on Alabama in year one with with southern miss and beat them seven to six like i don't know i really hope that this game's a little better on those sorts of things i i think that we're in, this is the first time i've said this in 10 years for a game that's an ea an ea sports release but i think this is going to be a good one and the reason is they're not releasing one every they haven't been releasing one every single year so you finally have some upgrades going into the game uh, unlike Madden, and this and this series will probably turn into the whole like roster update. It's the same same game every year, but I don't right. care. Like I'm just excited to have a new game after 11 years for the first time. And hopefully, if this succeeds, you're going to look at 2K and you're going to look at maybe even EA Basketball to come back for March Madness again because we need one game. I don't care if it's a release every single year. Just give me one game that's not from 2009 that plays awful in college basketball. And I know there's better 2K games, 2K6 and whatnot, but I tried to go back. I I bought a copy at a garage sale for 50 cents. I tried to go back and play it, and you can just tell it's dated. There's a lot of great features, but the gameplay is dated, and that's what I want new. So, um, you know, if this this experiment goes well, I think you're going to look at 2K coming out with a March Madness game soon, and I would be ecstatic for that. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun. That would be a lot of fun. I think that definitely needs to happen. And... I don't know about you, but with a college sports game, I don't need a new one every year. Like, if I buy, I'm going to buy 25 here, I probably won't buy the next game until, like, 2028. Like, I don't need, I don't need a new college game every year. Maybe that's just because we sent, spent the last 11 years playing the same game. And we just got used to starting a dynasty with Johnny Manziel winning the Heisman. Every time, you know, you just kind of got used to it. But I don't need the new player updates because it's a college game. Players are going to shuffle out every year. Whereas, like, in Madden, you would get really annoyed with because you know more people on every single roster. And if somebody's not in the right place, they'll just drive you nuts. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm get, I'm buying it this year. I'm not sure I'm buying it next or even the year after unless some huge, crazy update comes out. But I, I doubt it. There's no way. Yeah, I... I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. We'll see. But I think I would at least go one more if they added 
because high school football is out of Road to Glory. So if they added that back in, I would be a little bit more interested because I had a blast just carving up terrible defenses in high school and then, you know, working your way up the, to receive offers and things like that. So I think that would be sure. added in the next game. So maybe I'd be interested in that. But at the end of the day, for the most part, it's probably going to be the same game in the next couple of years. So I am also okay sitting out, especially at this first one. Like we played 14 for 11 years now. I don't think there's any problem with us playing this one a couple of years before we buy it again. So it, it might be a blessing and a curse for EA here. They're going to have to really earn earn the paycheck on the next one because most people might be fine just sitting with this game still. Yeah, two or three years down the line. For the record, I think my first dynasty is going to be with Colorado State and just not letting Colorado and Deion Sanders get anything going. The just anti- absolutely anti- lock Sanders. down the state of Colorado. Just, just absolutely pass them. Take their spot in the Big 12 four or five years from now. They get demoted. That's what I'm going for. Hey, I have I have memories of Colorado State being a – I don't know if it was a top five team or what. Growing up in like 2001, I remember them being – very high up there. So bring them back. And they bring were on their back. way back too. They looked pretty good last year. So we'll see what they can do this year.